My background is in classical hydrodynamics, both at Delft University of Technology and at MIT. So I became acquainted with the legacy of IHR through Professor Schumacher and uh, Professor Arthur Ippen. My first project was on the design of the Eastenschelt storm surge barrier. If you ask me about my contributions to the field, I could see two. Uh, first, the combination of the hydro sciences with the field of computer science and my second would be to engage in environmental applications later evolving as the field of eco-hydraulics. Hydroinformatics is about combining computer-based modeling with artificial intelligence techniques and this is where uh, many of the challenges lie in present-day computer-based modeling. In terms of mathematics, you can say there are more techniques available than only partial differential equations for solving conservation principles. Needless to say, these were team efforts together with colleagues like Professor Michael Abbott and Dr. Vladan Babuit, Dr. Tony Mint at IHE Delft. And it was a privilege to be part of the pioneering days that contributed also to IHR. Algal blooms can cause major damages overnight and so it's very important to develop measures to for early warning or for remediation and I'm happy that many of my researchers and my PhD students contributed to this field. The sponge city concept is receiving considerable attention nowadays both in Europe and the United States and in Asia. All these aspects were prominently on the agenda of the IHR 2015 Congress that I had the privilege to organize. But also here in Panama, the themes of the Congress clearly indicate the relevance of our association in contributing to solving global water issues. If you ask me about my message to our young professionals and future generation, I would say whatever you do, do the best you can in your particular field. But even more importantly, be sure to develop your skills as a team player because these are likely the qualities that you need wherever your career takes you.